Smash Drop. Welcome back to Mega Man X2. Uh, or, yeah. Snest Truck plays Mega Man X2. The next guy we want to take on is going to be Wheel Gator. He's in the dinosaur tank. I'm not sure why they're alluding to dinosaurs when he is very clearly a gator, alligator. I'm not uh, very familiar with the uh, animal kingdom of their phylums and species and whatever the hell. I guess gators are related somehow. Whatever, I don't care. This is the Mega Man universe. Anything is possible, apparently. Anyway, this stage is kind of annoying because you see how the screen shakes? It's to imply that there's you're in a tank, obviously, but that... And I get the idea. I get why they get the put the effect in here, but man, it kind of gives my eyes a seizure. Pretty straightforward stuff. Yeah, unlike the first game, with these guys with the shields, you can just... Oops. Damn it. Ah! You can hit them with one big uh, blast and their shield will go flying. Or they'll just blow up entirely. Whereas in games past with Mega Man, you've had to wait for your opportunity. Hey, where'd that guy go? He disappeared. And I totally missed the thing. Oh well. Now this suit here is a good example of the difference between Mega Man X and Mega Man X2. Because this suit, <laughs> it's like, no, it can't just be a big mecha suit. It needs to have spikes on the hands. And not only that, it needs to be able to hover and fly. Awesome. So when you hold the B button, or when you hold the jump button, rather, you can hover for a bit. Kind of like Demon's Crest, really. Except, you know, better than Demon's Crest, because this is Mega Man, and that's Demon's Crest. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> and then the glitch where you can't go... Oh, wow. That guy's just going to keep flipping out. It's like a dog that sees a, a cat behind a fence and he can't get after it. <laughs> nice. All right. Dash real quick out of the way there. Stirring commentary so far, isn't it? Silent silence is golden in my my experience. Dash over here. You could go all the way to the top and get a free guy. I don't think that's really necessary. I think that's what's up there. Free guy. Extra life, rather. Yeah. Free guy. Don't really care. Yeah, these things are frustrating because you have to charge your weapon to get even a single hit on them. There, there we go. Now, this area over here is kind of open. It's like a big open-ended area and it seems like there should be a secret out here somewhere. And I'm honestly not sure if there is or not, because there's all this extra crap over here. And I'm not sure what the point of all this is, other than for it to just be here. Like, there's no heart pieces that I'm aware of. There's The only upgrade I know of is... I think it's the arm cannon upgrade. That's at the beginning of the episode. Or the beginning of the stage, rather. Yeah, see, there's nothing over here. Oh, free life. Cool. But, um, yeah, there's nothing else uh, around. I guess I filled up my energy tank already. Uh-oh, look out. Wow, that thing does a lot of damage. Two hits and... Oh, well, thank you. You gave me my life right back. Anyway, yeah, that open-ended area back there. Not quite sure what that's all about. It's just I think it's just kind of there for the sake of being there. But yeah, we want to put on our boss weapon that we just got from Wire Sponge. And this is a very frustrating and time-consuming boss fight. I see that I'm only at about the four minute mark for the episode. I wouldn't be surprised if this boss fight took another four minutes. Oh, I hate that. Oh, and he grabbed me, damn it, come on. Get up. Because, yeah, it's, you sit and wait. There we go. I think it takes uh, eight, eight or 10 shots with the special, with your, uh, 
uh, chain thing. I already forgot what the weapon's called. And you sit there and hang out in the corner and avoid the uh, the buzz saws there. And then sometimes the computer will be a dick and send one at the very last second. Didn't that time. There we go. It's going as scheduled so far. And I have a full sub tank, so no worries. Ouch. Oh, see, it, it sends one up at the very last second. So you have to jump down and avoid it. And that's when you get in trouble. All right, we got Wheel Gator at about halfway down. I think that's four hits, so yeah, he takes eight hits of the uh, spike chain, I think it's called. I, I, don't, I honestly don't remember. There we go. Could have gone without the extra <laughs> damage there, but it's the price of being aggressive, I guess. Oh, uh, well, that backfired. Damn it. There we go. Two more hits and he's dead. I'd better refill, just in case. I don't want to blow it. Like, I have famously another Let's Plays, like, like Final Fight. Other Capcom games, I should say. Whoa, look out. Honestly, was not expecting that. Damn. Yeah, see, we're already at about two minutes for this boss fight. I would not be surprised if it took another two minutes. Oh, I hate that. Ah, he got me again. Jesus. There we go. One more hit, maybe two more hits. Should only be one more hit. Yeah, this is a tedious and time-consuming boss fight. There we go. I finally avoided that second one. Okay. So he takes nine hits, apparently. He needs one more. Uh, oh, come on. That's bullshit. Don't tell me I missed him. Come on. Ah, uh, no. There we go. Finally. Okay, that boss fight took less than three minutes. <laughs> Still, comparatively speaking, that's, I mean, with considering you have the special weapon of the guy, that is an eternity. I mean, consi especially considering in Mega Man X, and even in Mega Man X3, if you have the boss's special, their weakness, their, the, the weapon weakness, that the boss fight's over in 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Now we have a very important weapon, Spin Wheel. This will allow us to get access to other areas in the middle of stages throughout the game unlocking upgrades and other stuff. But in the meantime, we have a very dramatic cutscene here. This is a little bothersome about this game, I'll admit. It's like, does this really add a whole lot to the game? Like, it, it kind of reminds me of something like Cybernator, where it's like, yeah, the, the whole point of the game is you run around and blow stuff up and... It's like, wouldn't it be better for the player if they knew why they were running around blowing stuff up? And it's like, the answer is no. <laughs> I don't care. It's like, this is Mega Man. Just go run around and blow stuff up. All right, Dr. Kane. Okay. Let's move it along. Yeah, and the, the, the whole subplot here is you want to get Zero's parts back. I'll be honest with you. I don't usually bother with this part of the game. With, with finding Violin and Agile and the three guys. I don't usually do that because it's a pain in the ass to try and get track those guys down because they keep switching stages and there's a timing thing involved. And Anyway, um, yeah, that's I'm going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. We're going to get Zero's parts back or not.